Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology on the daily. I am your astrologer, Tanya, and today we're talking all about the asteroid Juno. Say what? AKA, we're talking about the asteroid in the chart that tells you in one little point where your ideal soulmate partnership relationship is like what does that look like it answers that question it answers who is that person okay from one little point in your chart it tells you all of that so today we're diving into how to find that and also what you can learn about it based on where it is in the chart okay so that's what you're gonna have by the end of this video but before I get into that be sure to follow on the Instagram and subscribe on the YouTube if you want more daily astrological tidbits like this because that's what we are here here for okay that's what we're here for so going along to Juno Juno as I said is an asteroid and it dates back to ancient times it's in the heavens in between Mars and Jupiter okay so it fluctuates between those two planets and since ancient times the idea of Juno was that she's like this nurturing goddess she's associated with like um, just this nurturing presence especially in regard to like women and stuff right but she's she's more of like a a wellness point in the chart she's like a happy point in the chart when you see Juno you don't really have a lot of stress you know what I'm saying because Juno's just like it is and wherever it is it gives you like a really good blessing and that it gives you insight as to who that ultimate spiritual partner what traits are they gonna have they might not be a Sun moon or ascendant whatever point that Juno is in the chart that might not be in that person's chart at that level of ascendant Sun and moon but even if it's not that ideal person is gonna have all the traits of the sign that Juno was transiting in at the time that you incarnated onto the sweet beautiful earth okay so how do you find Juno well obviously you can consult a professional astrologer such as myself or anybody but you can also go to a website like astrotheme.com everybody always recommends astro.com in their like videos and stuff and I've honestly never got the hype over that um, it's cool in certain ways for the different I use it for different things don't get me wrong like different types of like chart uh, analyses and so forth like generating those but as a generic like baseline astrology chart uh, reading you know just to get like the wheel with like the planets and the points and stuff on it I always recommend astrotheme.com because it's a lot more like kid friendly to be frank it's a lot more like colorful and just easy to understand like you see the glyphs and you can click on it and it's especially for beginners it's like it's just a lot less overwhelming so go to a website that generates a chart and be sure that you click on the button that tells you display asteroids something along those ends it's gonna say like display asteroids and something else when you go to generate the chart there's a bunch of little boxes at the bottom just be sure you click that and if you click that you're gonna have it all come up and if you want to see what Juno looks like you can just quickly go to ecosia.com or Google and find it but it looks like a little asterisk so you can't miss it you know what an asterisk is you'll be fine with like a stem so find that click on it'll be like Juno you'll be like oh my god I found it and I'll be like good job so <laughs> once you find that in the chart it's gonna tell you based on again what sign it's in and the planets of that sign that it's in and what they're doing in the chart based on what your partner is gonna be in your life that was like a lot of word vomit but it's gonna show you about your partner your ideal spiritual like this is next level it's not just like you're gonna attract people like this in your life because your seventh house cause but it's like next level like your ultimate soul spirit twin flame whatever like long-term union jazz we're not talking about no flings okay that's who Juno is Juno's like your real-time deal no BS like love your true love that's the best way of putting it is Juno everybody's like Venus and it's like yeah Venus like cool but Juno Juno's where it's at okay what I feel like is Venus and Mars the other two passion planets which I just did videos on if you want to check that out they give you a lot more insight on your partner yes and your love language definitely um, but when you want to understand like at a deeper level beyond just like the Mars and the Venus and you want to see like okay but beyond just that initial stuff like who am I really ending up with or who am I really supposed to be partnered with at the highest and greatest and truest of levels to me that's definitely Juno in the chart and so you combine the Mars you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater 
we like babies, you know, we keep them. But, <laughs> but you want to also, in addition to that Mars and that Venus and the seventh house cusp and the planets of the seventh house cusp that rule that and what they're doing in the chart. Yes. In addition to all that, you want to use Juno because again, it's going to give you next level understanding. So say hypothetically, you find your Juno, your Juno's in the sign of Scorpio. Whew, that's intense. You're gonna end up with somebody hot because Scorpio's hot. But like for real, you're gonna end up with somebody who's probably gonna have more sexual energy, somebody who's a little more like um, secretive or elusive in different ways, who maybe is a little more reserved and behind the scenes in different ways, but conducts a lot of power, like a puppeteer almost, or somebody who's really into on um, the converse of that or in conjunction with that, more of like a spiritual person, somebody who's more into like really deep spiritual practice that could be like the occult and like astrology and tarot and crystals and stuff like that but it could also be more about like energy work like reiki healing and um i don't even know like even deep like spiritual trips and stuff like shamans that's the sign of scorpio shamanic work like deep psychoactive trips that could be somebody who has all of those traits as much as they could be like a ceo or something because scorpio is like boss energy you know so like it's important to just like keep an open mind and like remember all the different things that all the different signs symbolize because if you get caught in thinking i'm gonna marry like a stripper like a really beautiful hot stripper because my juno's in scorpio Scorpio, and then you might end up being really surprised because you end up partnering with like a CEO of some really like intense corporation that like you didn't even have a clue existed, but there's somehow like this powerhouse within this structure. You're, you might be like, what? That didn't line up. But at the same time, both of those things are Scorpio. Like Scorpio is also, as I said, the shaman who's over here like on some deep like ayahuasca trip in the middle of the rainforest. And that might be who you end up with. But how do you figure out who it is? Well, number one, keep an open mind, but remember all the different things that those um, that the sign that it's in symbolize, right? And also refer back to your Mars and your Venus and just ultimately work on yourself because that's like the astrological underlying message in anything from any good quality astrologer is like just work on mastering you and your own life and what it is that you've been given in the chart to work with and that's ultimately going to attract a partner um, that's right and true to you, right? But these are kind of like things that can give you hints. When you look at the Juno in conjunction with the seventh house cusp and the Mars and the Venus, you begin to put together a real nice picture. You begin to see how the puzzle pieces fit and what that might look like for you. Um, another example real quick, say your Juno is in Virgo, just I heard Virgo, say it's in Virgo. So if Juno's in Virgo, you're probably going to end up with like more of a manager or a taskmaster or um, somebody who's like really super organized about some things and really like super sloppy and just all over the place with other things. Because I find Virgo is not usually one or the other. They're usually both. Like they're usually really clean and organized in a certain thing. Even if it's not their dominant trait to be clean and organized, they might be really clean and organized about like their toolkit or their, their like something that they, a collection that they have and they're like really messy about something else. But the point is like, um, you could be into that kind of person and that could be like who your ultimate soulmate partner is just as much as it could be um, like an herbalist because Virgo also rules traditional medicinal healing methods of like doctors even. So they could be an herbalist, they could be a doctor. I'm sorry, my cat just made a tragic mess, I'm sure. I don't even know what that was, but it made a hell of a lot of noise so it probably came up on the camera. But Virgo rules like doctors and herbalists and also like taskmasters and managers and just people who oversee day-to-day -day operations. I've noticed a lot of Virgo type people are in like the construction field from just people I've worked with. Um, so yeah, yeah, you have like a lot of different options there for what like Virgo energy is, right? Like you have a lot of different archetypes, if you will. So keep an open mind. Again, look to that Juno as yes, a beacon of light, but don't limit yourself to whatever the Juno is. Don't be like, sorry guy, you're cute and you have all these things going for you, but like, you're not my Juno because you're not a Virgo. Well, you don't know that person yet. You don't know what other types of attributes they have that could qualify them as being that placement in your chart. Moreover, look at what the planet that rules or the planets that rule that sign where Juno is in. Look at what those planets are doing. If it's Virgo, look at what Mercury's doing. If it's uh, Scorpio, look at what Mars and Pluto are doing in your chart because that is also going to tell you more about that ultimate partner. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. 
I hope this video brought you value, and if it does, be sure to, again, subscribe on the YouTube, follow on the Instagram, hit the heart and the like, and put a comment down below letting me know if you've generated where your Juno is, you know where it is. I would love to know, because it's just fascinating to hear about, so put your Juno placement down below. And with that said, Earthlings, may the stars be with you. Peace.